In the last video, we discussed switches and how the resistance across the conductors of a switch go to zero when the switch is closed. So you'd have to imagine this is a current path of your electric current trying to flow down these wires right here. You would encounter a gap here with essentially infinite resistance when the switch is open and you can't flow. Only when this part of the switch is pushed down so that it makes contact with the other terminal over here does current allow the flow and we say the switch is closed. What I wanted to show you in this video is just a bit of technology here. And it turns out that there's these devices called relays, which are nothing more than electrically controlled switches. So a relay has a switching mechanism just like this, which can have the infinite or zero resistance. But right below the switching mechanism is a piece of metal. And around the piece of metal is a bunch of wire wrapped around it, forming an electromagnet. So you sort of have a device here that has at least four connectors on, connectors on it. There's two connectors here for the switch, and there's two more connectors here for doing the following. If these two connectors here are attached to an electric current, an electric source like a battery, the electric current can flow through this coil and energize this electromagnet. In other words, when current is flowing through these wires here, a big magnetic field will be created in the region near the switch, and what that'll do it can pull this switching mechanism down. In other words, it can take this blue segment here and complete the switch, closing the circuit, allowing electric current to flow between these two points. And subsequently, if the current is released from these, this coil here, nothing is left to hold down this switching mechanism, and it'll flip back up. Sometimes these little switching me mechanisms have little springs at the top from forcing them to be pulled back up or open the switch again when the current is released in the coil. So we just happen to have a relay here, it looks a little something like this. This model here, this small narrow one, is called a reed relay. And if you look at the bottom of it here, it has the four connectors we were sort of hypothesizing here. There's three on this side, as you can tell, and one over here. And the way this one works, in particular, these two end ones, this one here and this one here, the two end connectors, those are the ones that are connected to this internal coil right here and the switch runs between this middle one and this outer, outer one here along the long axis of this so-called reed relay. So we can actually do a couple tests with it right now. We use the ohmmeter to practice making another resistance measurement. We've done a few of these. So I'll put the ohmmeter here onto the resistance scale. And I've got my two hook leads sort of connected to it here. You can see I have the yellow one connected to the red lead and the black one connected to the green lead here, just so I can have some convenient connection points. I'll go ahead and connect these two leads to the two terminals on this reed relay here that form the switch. So there you go, it's all nice and connected. Now if I look at the meter, see I'm getting infinite resistance right there because the switch is open. This is a so-called normally open relay. But if I take a little magnet now, I'm not going to energize the coils with any sort of electricity at this stage. We will later in, in the video series here. So I'm not going to do this right here, but it turns out I can open, open, open and close a switch with any old magnetic field. In this case here, I'll just use one of this little magnet that I have here. I have one of these little button magnets here, and I'll just use it. So what I can do then is watch the meter now. I'll just sort of hold this magnet near the reed relay. Here we go. See, and it closes. The, re the resistance drops to zero when the switch is closed. There it's open again. There it's closed. And there it's open again. If you listen very carefully, you're not going to be able to hear it on the camera. I can actually hear the, the little metal pieces clicking inside the relay. I'm not even touching the relay in this case here. So see, what you have here is kind of a really nice magnetically controlled switch. So for instance, the relay here could be mounted on a door or a window opening, and the magnet here could be mounted on another movable part. And like I say, when the window's closed, the magnet would be near the relay. You could have an electrical signal representing that condition. And when the, the window's open or the door's open, the magnet will be pulled away, and you can have another signal representing that connection. So relays are a type of electrically controlled switch. They are fundamentally controlled with a magnetic field that you can either induce with an external magnet, as I showed you, or by actually putting a current through the control lines of the relay.